uh, the way she loved being loved by people, what could you ask more than to be loved by 200 people or 2,000 people? And that kept her going. I think it fueled her the way applause fuels all true performers. It's not cause I shouldn't, not cause I wouldn't, and you know, not cause I couldn't, simply because I'm the laziest gale in town. My poor heart is aching to bring home the bacon, and if I'm alone and forsaken, simply because I'm the laziest gale in town. I'm just lazy. Dietrich became the highest paid cabaret artiste in the world. She repeated her success in London and finally in Broadway. But she became the most eccentric of travelers. Now, I don't know whether anybody out there in the audience has ever heard this about Dietrich, but everything had to be clean where she was. She was a freak about it. She came to my dressing room just to wait for all of us. We were all going to go to supper together. So I said, you know, make yourself coffee, make a drink, whatever. And she completely rearranged my makeup table. I got no kick from champagne. The alcohol doesn't thrill me at all. So tell me why should it be true that I won't get a kick out of you. In 1976, her husband, Rudy, died. Though they hadn't lived together since the 20s, he'd remained a faithful friend and support. Without him, her will to continue working finally began to fade. It's, um, it's a terrible thing to watch self-destruction in someone who has been that perfection in that realm of what we call fame and beauty and looks. Just a jiggle, everywhere. People know the past, I'm afraid. Dietrich eventually retired from the stage in 1976 when she was 74 years old. But she made one final appearance in 1978 in the movie Just a Gigolo. For many, it was unintentionally poignant. Youth will pass away. Then what will they say about me? When the end comes, I know. He'll say just a gigolo And life goes on without me She withdrew into her Paris apartment and never left it again. For the final 13 years of her life she lived in seclusion. The last 12 she spent in bed, connected to the world only by her telephone. Dietrich did not become a recluse because she didn't want to face her age. She became a recluse because the legend no longer was able to be re-embellished. Marlene Dietrich died on May 6, 1992. The funeral was held at her favorite church, La Madeleine, in Paris. The tricolore on the coffin bore medals she'd won for her service in the war against Germany. Ironically, her coffin's final journey was to Berlin. She was buried close to her mother. Marlena was dead, but the image of Lola Lola, the Blue Angel, that was not. Liebe nur und sonst gar nicht.
Tschüss.